Hey guys, back on with part two for our auto start IR shell install. You can watch this as a part one for auto start of any homebrew ISO, CSO, or homebrew application if you want. I'm doing it as a part two so I can have IR shell boot up when I turn my PSP on. So if you haven't already downloaded it, pause the video, go and download your auto start from the, my four shared file. The link will be in the description. Inside, we have three files. Read the README, that's always important. Once you've read that, plug in the USB to your PSP and computer. Toggle your USB connection. Mine's going to pop up here. All right, mine is popped up in M drive. So we go open to view folders, there we are, you see we've got IR shell installed from part one. And the first thing we're going to use is our SE plugins folder. So let's open that one up, have it ready. You can see I've already got auto start installed on mine, but let's open up the auto start WinRare that we had open already. Go into the SE plugins folder. There's the auto start PRX. So we've got SE plugins folder on the memory stick and SE plugins folder of the auto start WinRare file open. Just drag and drop it in there like I did to mine. I've already got one in there, so I'm going to hit cancel on that. Put yours in there so it looks like that. Pause it if you need to. Go down, or if you, you don't have to go down if you don't need to. I need to go down to find my VSH folder for you to see it. And there we have all the plugins that we've installed. You see I've got auto start there. Open back up the SE plugins folder on the WinRare auto start. Open up the VSH text in that. You see a line text. So highlight the whole thing. Copy. Close it. Open up the SE plugins on your memory stick. VSH text and just like mine copy and paste at the bottom of any of your plugins that are already there once you have it copy and pasted as mine is file save always save once you have that installed we go back again to our PSP file on the WinRare archive for auto start. Inside the game file you see auto start configurator. Now we had SE plugins here. Want to go back and find the PSP file. There you go. So we open that up and find the game file. So we have game file right there. And the auto start configurator in the WinRare right here. So just drag and drop it inside the game file. Not game 5x, not game 150, just game file. I've already got mine installed so it's asking me to cancel or replace. Now you see auto start configurator inside the game file on the memory stick. Once you have the auto start configurator in the game file on the memory stick 
the auto start PRX in the SE plugins and the text line in the VSH text all on your memory stick. You can close those. Let's go over to our PSP. There we go. Make it look nice for you. Exit USB. Okay, we've exited USB. However you want to do it, get into your recovery mode. I do mine through VSH menu. Reboot and hold R. And then we go to our plugins folder in recovery mode. In the plugins folder, we now have auto start right there. So X to enable it, mine already is. Back. Exit. Now the PSP will restart with our auto PRX enabled. Alright. We saved auto start configurator in the game folder. So there it is, Auto Start Configurator, X to start it. Nice old James Bond game boot that I made. Alright, now we've got Auto Start Configurator. Each one of these buttons that it's telling you, nothing beside, you can choose for it to auto start. When you turn your PSP on and hold that button down, that program will auto boot. And we're going to do IR shell as I said today. So I'm going to go down, hit X on the auto boot, go and find my IR shell, hit X again. And there you see 2x, 3x, which was the IR shell we installed in part one. So there we go. You want to hit R to go to the next menu. You want to enable it. If it says it's not enabled, if it says disable, then just leave it. Now the way I got my IR shell to auto boot was I had to disable the LAN switch check and once I did that I turned off my LAN switch right away click there it goes I turned it off and then exit down and X to exit and there's the PSP again and I'm going to reboot with my VSH menu you can turn it off however you want and turn it back on. As I said, I rebooted mine. So it went to the start, the normal, but it stopped. And there you have IR shell, auto boot, right from turning it on. Hopefully it works for you, it worked for me. Try a different button and a different program if you want. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.